Hello, gamers of the Gamer. Welcome back to another episode, the last episode of the Rosticon Rumble card review. Uh, the full expansion is here. We have another 40 cards to go through today. Now we have the whole expansion, so I will finish uh, reviewing the final bunch of cards, and then I might do a full review. Maybe I'll sh I'll talk about the most meaningful cards because that's what everyone really cares about. What are the best? I'll make a video of what are the the top cards to look at what is the best shit and yeah let's have fun with that okay so first of all let's go through these 40 and i'll probably do that video so uh we have this this is where we left off with scorch yesterday and now we have uh the final 40 from here on out regenerate zero mana priest spell restore three hp fucking great awesome another zero cost spell great especially for this uh heavy sp uh spam spell uh, priest deck so now we get maybe um some combos coming out uh let me let me real quick just for reviewing that sake let's show uh where's priest so priest has this and then this and uh and just synergy in general like healing is great and zero uh, Lyra, etc. Good stuff. Good stuff. And you can get it off of Lyra. Uh, I messed up. Right, you have to click Priest again. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go back down. Alright. Ornery Tortoise. 3 mana, 3 5. Battle Cry, deal 5 damage to your hero. So this is some more beast stuff where you could get around this Battle Cry by pulling it out as a beast. Um, this could be pulled out of for Druid from the deck from uh for the Oaken summons. Uh, you could, you can use this just in uh Paladin or Priest and then heal yourself, or in Paladin so that you can heal yourself for the combo cards that need healing. Uh, damage yourself down for a really efficient minion and then win off of that because this is Tar Creeper without Taunt. So I guess it's worse. It has beast, so beast tag is interesting because this could be played in Hunter if you don't care about your own health. Uh, eight mana, Demon Bolt. Destroy a minion, cost one less for each minion you control. So you're telling me I have a shit ton of minions as a zoo, uh, I mean, as a as a warlock, and this is good. So how many minions do I need for this to be good? There was Siphon Soul at six, and heal three. So this is Siphon Soul. Uh, with two minions, but it doesn't heal three, so you need it two or three minions for this to be good. I don't really know why wouldn't I just be running twisting nether destroy the whole board Because it's not supposed to be eight mana It has to be four or five five or six. Sorry uh, for this to be good Six is like unplayable almost but five is good. I guess single target might be the the reason it's okay But yeah twisting nether is an option uh, two mana flashlight um, uh, spell for Paladin, restore four health, draw a card, great card, four, or like, amazing, great. just a really good card, cycle, and healing for the synergy of the new Paladin deck, two of them, by the way, a seven mana, five, eight, after a friendly minion dies, deal two damage to the enemy hero, next, Blood Claw, uh, one mana, two, two, deal five damage to your hero, uh, this is a great card. Another uh, Paladin Synergy card for the healing. Deal 5 damage to your hero. Uh, just a 1 mana 2-2 weapon is great. So fuck the battle cry. Who cares? It might even be played in some aggro decks like Odd Paladin. And the 5 damage is irrelevant. 2-1 uh, two, two, Life Steal Deal 1 damage. Meh. It's a heal 1. Meh. Uh, one mana, one three weapon. Death rattle, give your minions rush. Who is this for? Serrated tooth. Oh, is this hunter? No, it can't be hunter. They already have so many weapons. What what weapon is this? God damn it! There's no way, hunter. No rogue. Yeah, it's rogue. Okay. New rogue weapon. It's just good because it's... Well, actually, do we need another rogue weapon? Wait, is this good? I don't think this is good. 
You have to attack with it three times. No, this isn't good. Next. Four mana, three, five, stealth, overkill, gain three armor. It's fine. Next. Zero mana, pounce, give you hero to attack this turn. Uh, another zero cost druid card for more ultimate infestation shenanigans. Great. Perfect. And now it also has synergy with the new cards coming in uh, Druid. This also makes Mechathun Druid even faster because you can run this too. Uh, Ma Moshog Enforcer or just uh, Mill Druid with the, with the dumb shenanigans that it can do. Just another zero cost card. Yay. Moshog Enforcer. Taunt Divine Shield. 8 mana, 2, 4. 2, 14, sorry. For 8 mana, 8 mana Taunt Divine Shield. It's fine. It's not that great. Next. Because that could be a Lich King. Uh, two mana, two, two, Headhunter's Hatchet. Battle cry, if you control a beast, gain one durability. It's not oh, it's not that good. We have really good weapons in Hunter, and this isn't that good. If it had three attack, it'd be great. Next. Spirit of the Lynch. Lynx. Uh, three mana, stealth for one turn. Whenever you summon a beast, give it one, one. Don't think that's very good. Three mana is too high. Uh, and like Hellfire is a card. Uh, five mana, Dragon Maw Scorcher Battle Cry. Deal one damage to all other minions. It's also not a beast. If that Lynx was a beast, maybe. Uh, Dragon Maw Scorcher Deal one damage to all other minions. So this is like a Dread Infernal, but only minions, and it costs five, and it's a three six dragon. That's pretty good. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in this uh expansion to screw over Odd Paladin. Looks bad. Uh, this is good for dragon decks, though, so that card's going to see play in dragon decks, 100%. 4 mana, 2, 3, give all minions in your hand, plus 1, plus 1, useless next, Halazi, Halazi the Lynx. Battle cry, fill your uh, hand with 1-1 one, one Lynxes that have rush. Fill your hand with 1-1 one, one Lynxes that have rush. This is the hunter uh legendary minion and so this is interesting because let's say you've played all played a lot of beasts in your beast deck and all this whatever or you play this with quest this with an empty hand could complete the quest on its own this just in a beast deck as like a finisher no not finisher but just a really good additional value card if it gets there I think in a single card for this card to, to potentially generate um, a 3-2 and 10 one ones with Rush that are all beasts is pretty crazy, actually. That's 13-12 of stats in a single card for 15 mana. It's not that bad, you know, if if you have an empty hand. Like, it's not bad. 5 mana, 3-2 is so bad, though. The body itself in the first place, but it's a beast. I don't know. Interesting. 2 mana, warrior... Spell Dragon Roar. Add two random dragons to your hand. That card's insane. That card's insane. One mana warrior card. Deal four damage to a damaged minion. Wow, the condition of a damaged minion. Yeah, that kills like everything if it's already damaged. Jesus. That's a good card. Uh, Arena Patron. Homage to Grim Patron. 5 mana, 3-3. Three, three. Hmm, seen those stats before. Overkill, summon another Arena Patron. So, you get this guy. And you get them all to have charge. And you attack, and then they gain... Uh, or just rush. Oh my god. The rogue weapon. Death Rattle 1 draw, one cost weapon. And that you can break with your own weapon. Gives all of your minions rush. And so this would have rush. I don't know if it keeps giving all your minions rush. Like for the whole turn. Or if it's just like the consistent effect. Like commanding shout or whatever the fuck that card is. That makes your minions can't go past 1 health. They survive with 1 HP. Uh, I don't know if it's an ongoing effect like that. But. Huh. Yeah because if you can. Oh this with um. Houndmaster Shaw. That sounds really broken. Wait, is that good? But it can't go phase. But you can get a big board of arena patrons. Yeah, that's good, I think. I think that's good. You put Houn Houndmaster Shaw 4, arena patron 5. Done. Are arena treasure chest, 4 mana, zero four 4, egg. Death rattle, draw 2 cards. 
Cool, another egg. Next, Chane Phantasm. So this is the card I looked at when I saw the zero mana heal, that heal three, for this. Uh, so two mana, three, two. Not bad. This turn, your healing effects deal damage instead. Card's great. Card's great. It's a Chane Soul Priest, two mana. So the effect is obviously... It was super valuable on a four drop, three, five. Now, that it's obviously super powerful on a two drop because this is a two drop board clear with a uh, circle for four damage. Yeah, crazy. Now we have it for two mana instead of four. You'll never run a China Soul Priest over this, I think. I don't think the five HP matters. The mana matters. Uh, three mana, two, two battle cry, add two bananas to your hand. Um, so originally... You would see this and go, ha ha, five mana, four, four, effectively with two bananas. But the bananas are re relevant, okay? So you can use them. Um, what, something that I thought of is the, the bananas are two spells. And so they're one cost spells. You could use them in potentially the priest deck that we've we've been alluding to with the low cost spells and all that. And the swarm. Yeah, so this is creating two uh, and, and the reason you would want to do that is if you, with one, um, Radiant, this, uh, they cost zero. Uh, what's the other deck that has the cost redu reduction on the spells? Uh, that is pre, uh, sorry, Mage. So Mage could Sork Apprentice, two bananas, and then this is a three mana four four, right? But the other thing is these bananas in both decks have more value. There's other decks too that could use a spell generated to draw cards off, uh, Gadgets and Auctioneer, and so in Priest you could Gadgets and Auctioneer, or you could have the weapon, the legendary weapon in Priest, or Lyra with Radiant, etc. In Mage, you have Quest Mage. Quest Mage. Four bananas, costing zero, generating your quest. Okay. Uh, give your opponent a coin, two mana, three, three. Get the fuck out of my face. Giving your opponent a coin, lose the game. Two mana, zero, four, has four attack while damaged. Useless. Does nothing. Give each player a copy of a random card from their opponent's deck. Isn't that useless? Unless your deck is shit. And so anything from your opponent's deck is better than uh, all the shit from your deck? Ew. You made your deck bad? Okay. 5 mana, 1-1 one, one that summons a 5-5. Five, five. So this is one of those things that the battle cry generates a 5-5. Five, five, and we've seen stuff like this before where... Uh, or we have the new card coming out that makes a 1-1 one, one copy of something and get, it gets its battle cry. And it costs 1. So then you can make a 5-5 five, five for 1 mana off of the 7 drop. 5-7 or whatever it was. Uh, that's pretty cool, but, and, like, also, for, uh, Yogg's, I don't know, what the fuck, uh, Shutterwalk. Uh, this is a 1 mana zero two. 2 At the start of your turn, destroy this and gain 8 armor. I don't see it. Next. Uh, 1 mana one one. Reduce the cost of a beast in your hand by 1. That's a death rattle. Will this see play in beast decks? Maybe. It's pretty good. Could allude to some broken stuff, too. Maybe some broken combos. What crazy beasts are there? Like King Crush? Or... Like that new the new ones from for Druid. Or like Tyrantus XD earlier. Uh, Ice Cream Peddler. So that card's fine. Like 1 mana 1-1 one, one that reduces a beast in your hand by 1. Like that's, fu that's fair. It's really good. 0 mana 1-1. One, one. Beast. Pretty good. Sure. Uh, it's a wisp with... Yeah, but it's delayed. But yeah, it's good. It's good. Uh, four mana, three, five. Ice cream peddler. Battle cry. If you control a frozen minion, gain eight armor. When do you control a frozen minion that you're playing a four mana minion to gain eight armor? Uh, so will new decks arrive? Uh, they, uh, that will slow down the game because they can gain armor in classes that you didn't think you could before, like Shaman, and then you can survive against the Druid finally as Shaman and in your Shutter Walk, so you have a way to make a frozen minion, so how are you making your own frozen minion? That's fucking awful. Next. <laughs> so bad. 4 mana, 3, 5. At the start of your turn, restore 2 health to this minion. Not really uh, impressed. Next, four mana, three two. Summon a three two t 
Rumble Tusk Breaker. So this summons three two three twos, both costing two mana. Effectively garbage. Next. Two mana zero two death rattle summon three one one scarabs. Who cares? Why do we want three one one scarabs? Next. Uh because yeah. Yeah. Serpent Ward. Uh at the end of your turn, deal two damage to the enemy hero. Totem. We don't have any totem synergy. Next. Shield breaker. Unless we can run no. There's not enough totems to run the fucking spell. Uh next, shield breaker. Silence an enemy minion with taunt. For two mana. So one mana worth of stats and one mana silence. We have Iron Beak out, but this is only a minion with taunt. Never see play. Next. What the fuck? Next. Two, two, three has spell damage plus two while damaged. Holy shit. That's, that's a cool card. That's, wow, that's cool. So technically a rogue could spell, uh, backstab their own spell Zerker to get it enabled. Or like, throw a... A, rock, a moonfire at its own spell zerker in druid uh stolen steel two mana may a uh, weapon for ro i mean spell for rogue and it's discover a weapon from another class why does rogue want a weapon from another class how often is it gonna get shit huh i guess you have to go through and look at it but why does a rogue want a weapon from another class the only really crazy weapons are twig Because you can't reliably build a deck around any of the weapons. Twig is just cool. Um, so you would have to consistently get a collection of good ones that are good enough no matter what. And then you also have to have your deck somewhat built around like four or five different weapons. And why are you doing this? Because that's shit. A uh, bunch of weapon removal meta as well makes this card like unplayable. So yeah, next. One mana, two, one. Wartbringer for Shaman. Wartbringer. Nice name. If you played two spells this turn, deal two damage. So the, so on turn one, this is do nothing. If you played two spells this turn, deal two damage. This can't be put in Shutterwalk. Is a two a one mana two one that deals two damage good? Yeah. But what turn do you... Oh, you can play this on turn one with like Zap and the other fucking zero cost cards. I don't know. Uh, that's it. It's a good card. It's probably fine. It'll see play in some aggressive deck, not, um, and not even Shaman either, so maybe Odd Shaman. No. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the card review. I'll make sure to post, uh, new, now another video with the top Hearthstone cards for the new expansion to look forward to and the ones to build around and have fun with and, uh, figure out for the new expansion. And I'll get that up right after this. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in that episode. Peace.